thought I'd go over some gameplay about <clears throat> everything that happened in this game here. I was in a pretty bad predicament in the entire game. I was in a losing position, so I thought we would watch it together as, as a YouTube audience. See what I did right, see what I did wrong, see what I can improve on. So you guys get what kind of mindset I'm on. I see him over there. Right here I'm neglecting the fact that I don't he has a, that he has a sniper, so I gotta be careful. I'm not letting him line up the shot. Trying to re I know at this point he has to be hurt because I did hit him a few times on the wall. I did the backwards uh, people from Snobby coming in and hitting me from behind. Using the tree's backward cover. <laughs> Trying to. Okay, that was pretty. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. And then I figure out, hey, this is the time that I'm in a losing position right here. Complete losing position. Nothing I could do except to come in on this fight here and hope that I I have the advantage from a win and them having a down opponent. Me thinking, okay, well, the best shot I got to kill is to take one out immediately. I have to take one out as fast as I can. Using cover in the uh, back flank of the storm to heal, so that way no one comes up on me. Still watching, still watching. Notice a guy's coming out, he's all by himself. The other dude's probably healing. So I wanted to hurry up. <laughs> Him really quick. Gather all these mats. This sets me in for a good, nice uh, early game, I guess you could say. It's a good, good, uh, good place of bets that I did there. If you want to call it that? I'm definitely gathering up the heals because I know that if a fight comes out at some point in the near future, if I don't have heals, I'm pretty much screwed. Rocking the double heavy just to make sure that if uh, I miss the first shot, I'm well, sure as so hell not miss the second. Here, my first thought is should I engage? No. Because from the looks of it, I'll be caught into a midway pinch with my positioning. I don't feel like having that fight, I don't feel like trying to push something that I didn't need to push. So I decided to go around the mountain. I noticed that we have the pro gameplay here up on the hill, and I also know that there's people sniping or shooting the structures down from the bottom. Me being the good Samaritan I am, I don't like what they're doing that. I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna take these guys out over here real quick. Maybe I'll help them guys up there fight their, their pro battle that they're doing. So I decided to keep start going up on these guys. Notice that there's dudes down below. Take him out. Gain high ground. At this point, I'm kind of figuring out that the people up on the hill are now being punked towards me, even though I'm helping them out. But they don't care, right? Yeah, I noticed I'm in trouble, so I need to turtle up at least the frontier of my base. So I'm trying to get some heals out of the pot I can. Notice the dude in front of me. Start watching myself, Wallen, get as much structure between me and the enemy as I possibly can. Making sure no one comes in, and if I do, they're not welcome, they get killed by a trap. You know the basics.
notice they're gonna start shooting out my stuff. I start trying to add layers of players. I mean, the minute they start shooting at them, I only had one option to edit, but I was like, wrong, so I got to push back, push back, push back, and get out of that predicament. Double stared, saw a way of guards my back. Good play, good play. Gained high ground, but need to watch out for the hill high ground. I didn't watch out for the hill high ground, that's my fault. I made sure to do it this time. Decided to drop from high ground, so that way I'm not a huge target. Noticed that I heard people down below me, so I want to heal up before I get into this engagement, because I don't want to be one pumped. <laughs> or at least have a chance of fighting somebody. DJ the Unicorn. Want to get this guy panicked to where he thinks he knows where Max Holloway, his teammate. Yeah. I'm really reluctant to engage on this dude, so I decided to add my pyramid. Yeah. My one style pyramid strat and let the fight show what, what the fight's gonna show. Who's gonna come out on top is gonna be the one I'm gonna fight. I don't wanna fight multiple opponents at once, so this is the best strat I could have done knowing the storm's closing in. It needed to be quick. So I had to decide which side I was going to edit from the bottom or from the side. I think I decided which side I wanted to edit from because I wanted to have that angle. Yeah, coming in over here, yep. I wanted to, yeah. Notice that they use the jump pad. I want to take as much wood as I can. Anything that I can scavenge from the rubble. Take the launch pad. I noticed that they, two guys went over there. That My first instinct was to go over there, but I was like, kill. I need to take these guys out immediately before I go anywhere else. Seeing that they know where I'm at, or well did, or I thought they did, I decided to move location. Blocking off any in access points to them seeing me. This is called the blinder strategy. Or it's a part of it, it's the ramp line strategy. It's where you block off their visual cues of where you're at, so that way you have time to regain high ground like I did. So now they don't know that I'm here until it's already too late and I've already got high ground. Whoa, what happened there? I didn't have any traps, sadly. I was gonna try to trap kill, but I didn't have any. The dude's hurt down there, he was shot. Gotta make sure I keep high ground. Thought he was gonna throw down the uh, pyramid, so I hurried up and explored up real quick. Dropping down. Tried to edit my stairs, said fuck it, it's taking too much time, so I didn't want to do that. Notice I was getting shot down, so I changed positioning again. If you can't, if you can't secure the low ground, there's no point of having high ground, especially if you don't know where your enemy is. So, best course of action was to get out of that situation and heal up from the bottom level and try to play it out from the bottom. Knowing that they're ramping up on me, these are the last two, I believe. I knew that he was gonna try to shoot me, so yeah, four, he four, two, so it's even better for me. I forgot the floor under me, sadly. So I decided to guard my head before I restart my let's go up strat. I missed the shots. I baited them shooting the ramp. He's out. This was the final. This was it right here. This is this is where it all mattered. I noticed old boy was going down to try to get a revive out. So I was like, alright, we need to floor over and connect the structure so that way I don't get shot out too. So that was another point of my strategy. Fan build this wall. I didn't. At this time, I did not think that he had a a uh, scoped weapon because he. I thought he would have already shot it at me as I was hard peeking. However, thank God I had the shield that I did and I healed like I did when I was fighting, or else I would have lost this game. Seeing that he's gonna keep spamming, I'm gonna try to be unpredictable as I possibly can. I'm gonna shoot it, and then I'm gonna go back and shoot it again, then leave it go. And Right here, he hits me with a body shot as I finish him. Leaving me with uh, 12, I think it was 13 HP, 15 HP, something like that. Tracks my double wall, double ramp, and then somehow turning into Superman. Well, 
that was that. Hmm. GG.